which is a fishing village about an hour outside of Dublin. The reason that we're going is because yesterday we went to the Dublin Visitor Center to pick up these um, three-day transit passes. And this kind lady that works at the tourist center was explaining to us that we can actually take the DART train, which is like a more like long distance train, out of the city a little bit. And we thought that'd be super fun. So we are going to go do that this morning. And then there's another little um, fishing village that she suggested called Bray, which is south. So Houth is a little north of Dublin and Bray is a little south of Dublin. Plan right now, which is subject to change, <laughs> is to go to Houth first and then uh, from there go down to Bray. And then if there's a place that we can get dinner in Bray, we'll stay there and then just come back to our Airbnb. Otherwise, we'll go back into Temple Bar and find another place to have dinner and live music. Last night we had dinner at this place called Lundy Foots in Temple Bar, which was so much fun. The live music was absolutely amazing. And we were just like, this is the best thing ever. Like why, why is this only a thing in Ireland? So we wanna make sure that we go to some place that has nice live music again tonight. And so if we can't find that in Bray, then we'll come back to Temple Bar. Out here with our coffee, just enjoying the morning sunrays and our processed McDonald's. garbage from America. Guys, if I thought that I loved Ireland before, now I definitely do. They have actual sausage, egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches at McDonald's. It's very up going to Bray first because well we got on the wrong platform and we couldn't get out again so anyways it was fine though <laughs> <laughs> no we just didn't care enough to figure out yeah how to that's get true out again. And, and the train was coming in two minutes rather than like 20 minutes yeah. to go to um, house so we were like okay let's just go to Bray and then if it's boring or whatever we can always turn around and go up to house but honestly it's super super cute and I'm glad we came here Josh is eyeing gelato already. What the heck? There's like no line at this one. And they don't have the fancy lights. They don't have the fancy lights. Yeah, that's true. We're bringing you kids. You gotta have both the yeah. color bulbs. We got some coffee and we're just walking along the seaside. And it's super, super nice. You should definitely check this place out if you have an extra day and you're visiting the city of Dublin. Of, what is this? You Killarney <laughs> County. <laughs> you forgot where we are? <laughs> no, this is Bray, but the county. I didn't oh, Wick any... Wicklow, I think. How'd be expected to remember such things? <laughs>
you should go sit on this wall. I'll take a photo of you. Yes. We love a good Irish cliff walk. Is it? Wood meets lodge. I think that's this. Ah, something to do with the, the railway company. company owned the walkway up to Lord Meath Lodge, who kept the gate closed and charged a penny for entry, except on Fridays. Ooh. Free Fridays. The estate house was Kilruddery House, now open to the public. Lord Meath also constructed a carriage walk around the top of Brayhead for his guests. This was also open to the public. The cliff walk was closed on Fridays when it was reserved <laughs> for Lord Meath's own use. <laughs> the steps above the toll house led to Lord Meath's estate. Nice. So this, I think, is the toll house. The stones for the cottage and the toll gate were all collected from the immediate area with the exception of the granite coins and the red brick, which were brought to the site. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. Lord me, Penny H. Go up on his hill. Uh-huh. Can we go upstairs over here? Hey, oh. good. Oh, yeah. Hello. See if the ghost of Lord Meath tries to demand any pennies, huh? Give me your pennies. Yeah. <laughs> well, what? Oh, uh, you can do it, Bean. Come on, let's Where go. Are you going? It's like are literally all the way straight up. It's fine. We just gotta keep walking. Let's go. Let's go. Sure looks that way. Yeah, see, maybe we could follow one that goes up that way, or... I'm not sure about this. <laughs> hmm, how is that for exquisite? Opportunity to get one that will blow your freaking What's the name? Out. Can you read the name of it? Like Especially if you're gluten free. The Athenry or something? Foods of Athenry. And uh, they're made in Galway, which is kind of cool. 
anyways, we are back at the train station now. We just had a lovely walk along the cliff in Bray for a few hours. It's like 4 p.m. now, I think, and we are gonna head back into Dublin, go to Temple Bar, and find us another place to have dinner and live music, hopefully. We're doing a super early dinner because we have to catch our flight really early in the morning tomorrow. I think it leaves at 7.20. Currently, there's been a bunch of strikes at the Dublin airport, and so um, it's been super, super busy. Like, everything is moving super slowly. So Ryanair sent me an email saying you should try to be at the airport three and a half hours early. So factor in public transportation to get to the airport and then three and a half hours early and flight leaves at 720. It's a lot. So we're gonna try to go to bed early early. <laughs> but go get some dinner first. Also, I think I've thoroughly convinced Josh and he is now on board with my master life plan of moving to Ireland and buying a little stone cottage, aren't you babe? No, the thing is, you can't breathe in the city. Man simply can't breathe there, you know? There's too much going on, too many people. Yeah. A lot of folks not recycling, not, not gardening, not doing the real fundamental things of life, you know, so I would say it's a compelling argument she puts forth. He's convinced, guys! Subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye!